Welcome sports fans. The Canadian Football League, inaugurated in 1909, did attempt to conquer the American market. Now, it was not born of the kind of greed or avarice that our neighbors to the north are wont of accusing Americans of, no more so than anyone trying to bring professional football to a market that competes with a titan like the NFL looming overhead. But instead, uh, it came from the fallout from the World League of American Football. There were two uh, WLAF owners that wanted to continue on with a new league. Fred Anderson of the Sacramento Surge and Larry J. Benson, brother to Tom Benson, who owns the New Orleans Saints, of the San Antonio Riders, were going to play on as the San Antonio Texans, but they never took the field. The uh, Surge moved forward as the Miners, and then uh, there were a few other moves forward. In 1994, the Baltimore CFL Colts started the season under that name and with their logo, but changed mid-season to the Baltimore Stallions. Um, their, their time came to an end when the Browns announced that they were going to move to Baltimore, and we can thank Art Modell for that little gem. Um, but, you know, the, the uh, Colts slash Stallions had some success on the 19th of November, 1995. They defeated Doug Flutie's Stampeders 37-20 to in the Grey Cup. Now, that season also included the creation of the Southern Division with the uh, Las Vegas Posse, uh, the Memphis Mad Dogs, the Shreveport Pirates, and, of course, the Birmingham Barracudas. So my brackets are as follows. I've got the Texans against the Barracudas, the Las Vegas Posse against the Shreveport Pirates, the Sacramento Gold Miners against the Memphis Mad Dogs, and I went ahead and gave the Miami Manatees a slot against the uh, Baltimore Stallions. In the first matchup, uh, the Texans are going to go ahead and move to the next round as the Barracudas had a playoff win and uh, were a pretty good team. Actually, I lived in Tuscaloosa when they were playing, had an opportunity to go see them, but did not. I did see the then ECHL, now I think Southern Professional Hockey League, Bulls uh, play, but I never saw the Barracudas play, unfortunately. But again, definitely better, uh, better performance than the Texans. Just matchup. I've got the Las Vegas Posse against the Shreveport Pirates, and uh, the Shreveport Pirates actually played, and so they uh, they are going to survive this round, and Las Vegas goes down. They wound up uh, trying to move to several different places, and some were closer than others. One that I think deserves mention, but I couldn't find any documentation or at least any, any uh, photos, was there was a possibility of them moving to Jackson, Mississippi, with Jimmy Buffett as a part owner. Next up, I've got the Sacramento Gold Miners against the Memphis Mad Dogs. Um, well, you know, if for no other reason than uh, Joe Horn Sr., father of Joe Horn Jr., who now plays for or played for the New York Guardians, played for them. And uh, then, uh, then I've got the uh, Miami Manatees, which again, never played a game, never were real, against the Stallions. And of course, the Stallions, winners of the CFL Grey Cup, uh, survived this round. It does look like the CFL has banished the, uh, that game, that Grey Cup, from history. It looks like they've been stricken from the record, and so that is unfortunate. But that leaves us with the uh, Texans against the Manatees. The Texans were a very bad team, but I'm going to go ahead and say that the Manatees were the worst team in CFL America history. They did find a way to win an award for the worst helmet and uniform in all of professional sports. And uh, please do let me know what you think and like, subscribe, and share this in any way you can.